before we get into this video i just want to say that this is my first time doing more of like a script based uh video so uh, <laughs> it's not gonna be the best but i hope you guys enjoy i'm going to be doing a series on this kind of thing of all the dere types so obviously start with the most popular sundere probably do yandere next so yeah hope you guys enjoy this the world of anime and manga is teeming with diverse character archetypes each with their own set of personality traits and narrative functions among these the sundere stands out for its unique blend of sundoku meaning aloof or irritable and dere dere meaning love struck or affectionate this archetype presents characters who initially appear cold harsh or even aggressive often hiding a softer caring side beneath the surface Understanding the sundere requires delving into both its characterization and the psychological underpinnings that fuel its popularity. The sundere character typically exhibits a well-defined set of traits. Their initial demeanor is often characterized by bluntness and insults. They readily resort to verbal barbs, sarcasm, and even physical violence to express their displeasure. Characters like Isaka Tiger from Toradora and Asuka from Neo Genesis Evangelon are prime examples known for their sharp tongues and fiery tempers. Sundere speak. Their vocabulary is peppered with phrases like Baka and Urusai, further emphasizing their prickly exterior. Denial of affection. When their feelings for someone are hinted at, they strongly deny them, often resorting to even stronger displays of aggression. This, cla this classic Sundere trope is exemplified by Kyo Soma from Fruit Bastards, who constantly pushes Toru Honto away, despite his obvious affection. However, beneath this gruff exterior lies a softer side that gradually reveals itself. Hidden kindness and care. Despite their initial hostility, Sundares often demonstrate genuine concern and compassion for those they care about. Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z embodies this well. Though initially a villain, his Sundare nature softens as he develops a bond with Bulma and eventually fights to protect Earth. Shyness and embarrassment. The Sundere's harshness often stems from shyness and a fear of rejection. Their aggressive behavior might be a way to mask their underlying vulnerability. Naru Osaka from Love Hina perfectly captures this, constantly teasing and challenging Keitaro Urashima while secretly harboring feelings for him. The Sundere archetype's enduring appeal can be attributed to several psychological factors. The thrill of the chase. The initial coldness of the Sundere character creates a challenge for the protagonist and the audience, witnessing the gradual growth thawing of their icy exterior and the blooming of affection creates a sense of accomplishment and emotional investment. The glimmer of vulnerability, the Sundere's hidden kindness adds a layer of depth to the character, seeing a tough exterior making a soft heart resonates with the human experience of emotional vulnerability. Complexity and Realism the Sundere archetype goes beyond a simple good or bad personality. It reflects the complexities of human emotion where outward behavior might not always align with their inner feelings. Wish Fulfillment The Sundere's transformation from cold to caring fulfills the desire for someone who initially appears uninterested but eventually reciprocates affection. This resonates with viewers who may have experienced unrequited love or social awkwardness. While the classic Sundere trope often features a female character with a male protagonist, the archetype is not gender specific. Male Sundere is like Sasuke Uchiha from Naruto and Usi Takumi from Kaichou wa Maidsama exhibit similar traits of initial coldness, masking deeper feelings. There are also deconstructions of the archetype that explore its limitations. Characters like Yukino Yukino Shida from My Team Romantic Comedy initially appear cold but lack the genuine warmth often found in classic Sundere's. This challenges the audience's expectations and explores the potential downsides of emotional repression. The Sundere archetype remains a popular fixture in anime and manga due to its ability to evoke a range of emotions of viewers. From the initial frustration of their prickly behavior to the satisfaction of witnessing their emotional growth, the Sundere journey offers a compelling narrative arc. Furthermore, the psychological underpinnings of the archetype resonate with viewers' desires for connection vulnerability and the thrill of the chase. As anime and manga continue to evolve, the Sundere archetype will likely continue to be adapted and reinterpreted, whether portrayed in its classic form or deconstructed to explore its complexities. The Sundere will undoubtedly remain a captaining character type for years to come. The Sundere archetype isn't confined to the realm of anime and manga. We can find reflections of the personality type in real life as well. 
Here's how the sundere dynamic plays out in everyday situations. Social anxiety and sundere-like behavior. People with social anxiety might exhibit sundere-like traits in milder forms. They might appear aloof or even rude in unfamiliar social settings as a defense mechanism to mask their shyness and fear of rejection. This sundere-like behavior can sometimes be misinterpreted, leading to misunderstandings. The tough love approach. Sometimes people take on a sundere-like persona with close friends or family. They might express affection through teasing, sarcasm, or even playful insults. This tough love approach, while sometimes hurtful, could be a way of showing care and concern in a way that feels comfortable for both parties. Cultural influences. Certain cultures might place a high value on stoicism or indirect communication. In these contexts, someone who appears reserved or even slightly aggressive might not be expressing genuine coldness but simply adhering to cultural norms. Understanding these cultural nuances is crucial when interpreting seemingly sundere behavior. While the sundere archetype can be charming in fiction, navigating real life relationships with someone who exhibits these traits can be challenging. Here are some things to keep in mind. Communication is key. Open and honest communication is essential if a partner's sundere behavior is causing discomfort. A calm and open conversation is necessary to establish healthy boundaries and communication styles. Understanding the underlying reasons. Try to understand the root cause of the sundere behavior. Are they shy? Do they fear rejection? Once the underlying reason is identified, addressing it can help break down the communication barriers. Setting boundaries. While some teasing and playful insults might be acceptable, it's important to set boundaries for what kind of behavior is hurtful or disrespectful. The sundere archetype offers a fertile ground for storytelling exploration. Here are some ways the sundere can be further developed in the future. Deconstructing the power dynamic. While traditionally the sundere's affection is directed at the protagonist, future stories could explore more power imbalances inherent in this dynamic. Does the does the sundere's coldness manipulate or control the object of their affection? Exploring different sundere motivations. The reasons behind the sundere's behavior could be delved into further. Past traumas, social pressures, or even self-esteem issues could provide more depth and nuance to the character. Sundere anti-heroes. The sundere archetype could be applied to anti-heroes or villains. The subversion of expectations could create a complex and morally ambiguous character. Overall, the Sundere archetype with its blend of prickly exteriors and hidden affection will undoubtedly continue to resonate with audiences. And overall, even though the Sundere is my favourite type of Dere, I still understand why people do like this kind of character. There's so many different facets that the Sundere archetype could go down that I think people need to explore a bit more. I hope you guys like this quick little deep delve into the mind of a sundere. Uh, if you guys want to see more, just like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, next up, yandere.